In this course, your teacher has created some assignments that use a program called Kami. This video will walk you through how to use this tool. First, you'll come to a page in your Canvas that will show you one of two views. This first view will show you this button that says load, and this one says load Jane Eyre in a new window. Yours will just, where it says Jane Eyre right now, yours will say load and then the assignment name in a new window. I'm not sure why that just happened right there. I'm gonna hit refresh, probably because I've done this before. So it will say load assignment name in a new window. Um, and if the second way is that you will see this Kami document directly in your Canvas page. Either way is fine. Um, you can, if the Kami document is directly here, you can interact with it right here. If it says this, you're going to click on this, this button. And now you have loaded your um, Kami assignment in this new window. So regardless of which of those two views you see, once you're in the Kami assignment, you'll have several options. The first one is you may see these colored circles. So here's one where when we click on that, you're gonna see that Miss Beaver has a message for me about what is happening right here. So I, and she's left me an audio comment. So I can click this button. That is some awesome highlighting. And so there we can hear what she has to say about that. We can also, if you click here, you'll see that she has just made a text comment for me. You may see these dots. It might take you to a video recording of your teacher as well. So you'll want to make sure when you first come in that you check out these dots to see what it is that your teacher wants to share. Those could be really important um, instructions or um, or maybe even reteaching you how to do something that she's, she's gonna ask you to do. Uh, a next, another helpful tool you can have here is the text to speech option. So if you click on Thanks this. Thanks for seeing my name. Oh. So let's go ahead. So that, that's a, a trick I was gonna show you in just a second. So if we, um, this is what you're gonna default to. So you can choose something you want read to. Book was a collection of poetry that she wrote with two of her sisters, Emily and and so there it read it to me I can change that speed um, that I, that it's being read to me I can replay it um, and I can also like I showed you a second ago you can choose different languages um, so if you prefer or need to have it read to you in Spanish you can do that as well um, also up here you can see we have a dictionary tool so if you want to look up a word you can highlight it, and it's gonna immediately show you the um, dictionary definition for you. Um, let me make sure I didn't miss anything else there. So that's that's really what you'll wanna look at as you start your assignment. Now, you're, you've been given some directions over here. She's asked you to create some annotations. So there's several ways that we can do that. So the first way is to mark something up. Maybe your teacher's asked you to highlight um, something about the um, characters. So you could highlight that, you can choose your color. Maybe you need to highlight um, a picture. You can highlight a whole box of something. Also, maybe, um, maybe this is a document where they're asking you to edit and you don't want it to say girls anymore. You could do that and strike through. Finally, you can also underline. If, you're, if they're asking you to underline the first sentence, we can underline there. That didn't do it quite right. Oh, I, yes. That one didn't do it quite right, but you could play around with that. Um, you have the option, like Miss Beaver did, to add your own comments. So again, you can do text comments. You could, um, this one's, um, you could say, um, I don't understand these directions. You can also hit that voice typing option if you'd rather do that instead of typing yourself. You, of course, like Miss Beaver did, I could also record a voice comment. So here, 
let's put one right there. You could record that and um, I'm gonna allow my microphone and I'm gonna say whatever it is that I want to say to turn into Miss Beaver. Finally, I have the option to um, video record and also do a screen capture, especially if you're doing something like um, perhaps showing a teacher how to, to work out a problem. One that you may be using quite a bit is, let's see if she has some questions on here for this one. Maybe not. We'll just come back up here. Maybe maybe she's asked you to put your thoughts about, about a paragraph over here. You can simply, if you've got your text box tool open, you can just double click and it will create a text box that will grow with you. It'll keep going and going and going. Or you could create, um, a specific shape text box. Oops, try that again. It's not going to work for me, but this one will work too. Um, the next option here is that we can put in equation symbols. This wouldn't really probably be necessary in Miss Beaver's assign English assignment here, but let's say you're doing an assignment for chemistry or for math. You have all of these equation symbols that you could use. Um, to help you write out your equations for giving your answer or even doing um, your calculations. Our next one is the drawing tool. So um, maybe you're supposed to draw a picture of a clock because that one says something about a clock. This is terrible, y'all, sorry. So there's my clock and hopefully yours would be better. Okay, um, and you can choose colors. Then we have shapes. That one might have helped me with my clock. Maybe I decide I wanted it to look prettier. So I could instead draw a circle and I could get myself a couple lines to show my clock. And look, that's so much better. So then that's gonna take us down here to our eraser tool because I hated my first clock. I've got, I've got an eraser tool that will allow me to erase drawings and shapes. So I'm going to click on it and it's gonna take away what I drew. Um, for drawings and shapes. And that one's, there we go. Um, and then we also, maybe I still don't like that clock. I could now go in and Google search and insert an image. You can also grab them from your computer or um, your Google Drive. Um, that should have already been signed in, guys, sorry. So now I'm going to put in clock. And there's a clock. Maybe I'm happier with that, and I can choose to put that here, okay? And then I have capabilities to resize that so that it can go exactly where I wanted it to go. Finally, this option is for signature. You probably won't need this. Might be something your teacher uses, but I just wanted you to know it was there. So now, let's say I've done all of the things that Ms. Beavers asked me to do. I'm ready to turn in my assignment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna come up here and I'm gonna hit Submit and it um, right here you're just gonna say submit don't change anything else for right now and it's saving it to my Google Drive which will be really important because um, I'll talk about that in just a second so now that I have submitted you'll see it says done which shows me that it has gone through to canvas to Miss Beaver now, let's say I have done that and realized that I didn't finish it, or maybe I decided I really didn't want to use something that I put in there. I didn't like one of my answers, and I want to do it again. I'm going to come back here and hit unsubmit, and you can do that at any point. Even after you've closed down this browser window, you can come back and do that. Now, I can come back in, make some other changes, and I can submit when I'm ready to again. Um, your teacher will have access to all submissions in Canvas, so they will be able to see your progression, but they will be, unless you hear otherwise, they will be grading that first or that last submission you send. Another great thing that I want you guys to know, because as you see, it's going into your Google Drive. So even if you don't submit this, it your work is being saved. So you don't have to worry about it if you can't get through this Cami doc in one sitting. You'll be able to come back and pick up where you left off. Um, so you will have that in your Google Drive. 
your teacher will also have that in your their Google Drive, so they will also be able to um, make real-time comments if necessary. So please let your teacher or Mrs. Hanks know if you have any questions.